As more medical services reopen in the tri-state, more people are getting back on track with their health and wellness. While gyms are still closed, there are still services available. Joining us now via Skype is our doctor on call, Tri-Health Weight Management Medical Director, Dr. George Kurlakian. Did I say your name right, Doc? Kurlakian, that's good. Kurlakian, okay, very yeah. good. Um, you know, there, there's the joke floating around that, you know, do you, do you gain the COVID-19? <laughs> People are at home more and it's hard to exercise. We're just now getting some better weather. Um, so what are you offering and, and are, you, are you getting a lot of interest? Yeah, absolutely. So as you are uh, all aware, uh, we have a medical arm and a surgical arm to our program. And the surgical arm, all elective surgery, was stopped by uh, order of the governor, obviously. But uh, all our offices remained open through the pandemic, through the past six weeks. But a lot more is done using telehealth as opposed to in-person visits. I think uh, in medicine, we have discovered that this is obviously a much safer way to take care of patients. And we've been providing services in this kind of environment now for the past six weeks. Obviously, the volumes aren't quite the same, but they're still at about 50 percent. Generally, what's happening there in your medical center? I'm curious, is it is there are there medications you're finding work better to help people with appetite or are you mainly doing, you know, kind of the psychological counseling of you've got to understand portion sizes and, you know, breathe and drink water and right. how are you how are you approaching things differently than maybe a year ago? Um, well, I think it's uh, other than the environment where the patients are seen where we are very much uh, we're stressing uh, all the safety that uh, we, because of the pandemic. Uh, so this is definitely a very different environment, but certainly uh, there's stress doesn't help with maintaining good eating habits. Uh, but I think it's multi-factorial. Uh, certainly there are uh, so, so societal factors, emotional factors, genetic factors that uh, can uh, make, uh, uh, create uh, as a disease, obesity uh, can cause uh, different levels. So for the patients with morbid obesity, the medications help a little bit, but really what helps is the surgical procedures, which are the bariatric procedures. And uh, for now, obviously we haven't done any, but uh, we're hoping that within the next week or two, we will start doing the elective bariatric procedures. We're, we're out of time, but I'm going to give you 10 seconds to tell me how safe your offices are. I know a lot of people are afraid to walk oh, in any doctor's office right yeah, now. You, you will be amazed how much we've walked through as and, and acting like patients and team members to make sure that we respected the social distancing, the mask, etc. We're doing everything we can to clean up after each patient and make sure that the environment is perfectly safe. We, you can bring your family. I would bring my family here to be taken care of, honestly. Very good. Dr. George uh, Kerlakian said it right that time. Thank you yeah. so much for your time uh, with TriHealth. We sure appreciate it. You be safe. Thank you. And you be safe too. Thank you.